Uh, Dak Prescott, what you think about the Dalton Schultz contract situation right now? No, I mean, I realized that I went through the things that I've went through, obviously not just in life, but uh, in football as well to help others. So, I mean, uh, just being able to to talk to Dalton, um, maybe ease his mind through some of this and just understand that I went through this process. A lot of people go through this process. Um, he's a guy that, that I mind you, pardon me, Chet, they are at a home run derby. So when we hear Dak talk, there will be a woman screaming in the microphone. Now, she could talk softly in the microphone and y'all and y'all still hear, but she's going to scream in the microphone. So pardon us. I feel very comfortable with, have a lot of trust with. He knows that. Uh, the team knows that. And so um, I'm confident in, in that situation and um, in this corner. Now, the end of this clip was something I found super interesting, Will. Still. I'm just going to rewind it just a couple of seconds, and we're going to review it and talk about it one more game. Listen to this. Very comfortable with, have a lot of trust with. He knows that. Uh, the team knows that. And so um, I'm confident in, in that situation and um, in this corner. Now, when Dak said that, you know, just I just got the bunny ears. My antennas was up, and I was like... Team knows this, huh? I was like, all right, Dak Prescott, I'll keep listening to your interview and things like that. But you know, just in my in my mind mentally, I just wrote that down. Will still, you mentally write that down. Chat box, y'all mentally write that down. It will be on the test. Dak Prescott, as we continue to move forward in this interview, it was like, uh, did Dalton Schultz kind of give you a heads up that he was gonna be holding out a going through some off-season shenanigans or anything like that? Yeah, me, me and Schultz talk all the time. So, I mean, I, I knew what was happening. The team does. And uh, as I said, it, we'll, we'll, we'll handle it. Hmm. Kill you. Ryan Dakota Prescott, this, you know, it just, just, Dak talks with this new thing now, Will Steele. You know what I mean? With this new, oh, yeah, me and Steven will take care of this. Oh, me and X, Y, Z, we're going to figure this out. Me and Jerry are going to da, 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 da. And I thought I was kind of bugging a little bit, right? And I was like, we had a feeling that Dak was going to start making team decisions or start helping with team decisions, but we never really had the evidence of it, for real, for real. Dak walks around with his chest real big now, and I just want to jump over a little bit because I like to curate these sound clips. That was like, Zeke. What you think about Dak Prescott making personnel decisions? Zeke said this. Uh, I mean, it's his offense. Uh, I think, you know, he's the leader of this team. And, you know, they, they have a tremendous trust in him and, uh, you know, help him find the right fits for this team. And I, and I think that's right for so. I was like, hmm. <laughs> when the fuck did this happen? <laughs> when, when did this, it happen pretty quick? So, Master William, let me ask you this. We had ideas. We had vibes. Kyle says, Dak Ches Dak Chescott, hilarious. So look, we had ideas that this was a thing. We had a feeling that this was a thing, but we never really had the evidence. We never heard Dak or anybody or any of the players talk about this. Am I missing something, Will Still? Yeah, you're, miss you're, missing, you're, missing, you're missing that they said, yo, call five of these receivers. And one of those receivers was Jalen Tober. Was Jalen Tober. And they went yeah. back to Dak and said, hey, man, he on the clock. What up? Get him. Yeah, we good. So that 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 was the that was the kind of stamp it that Dak Prescott does have that kind of say now. And they did say they wanted him to. Uh, and we just was like, well, let's see it to believe it. And yeah, I mean, he should rightfully so. All, all, your, all franchise quarterbacks should have some say in this in that kind of acquisition offensively. Right. Sure. 100 percent. I just ain't know when it happened. <laughs> I feel like I cover this team every single day and every <laughs> piece of information that comes out. We're aware of it. And there was no official report or statement. And it probably won't be right. But we listen to a lot of Jerry interviews, we listen to a lot of Steven interviews. Right. And at no point did I hear them say, oh, yeah, we're going to talk to Dak and figure this out. Right. It, this all just kind of happened for me. and It, it, it just kind of clicked up here. So this is what I found interesting. The next question that I just asked myself immediately as I queue up this next clip here. Who has the bigger say in that room? We always talk about who walks around with the with the big sticks, who walk around with the big say. Dan Quinn got a lot more say than Kellen Moore does. Clear. We see that. We we had 11 picks. We drafted eight on defense. Dan said so. Boom. Nation Wright's my guy. Sam Billy D is my guy. We know that for sure. When I'm thinking about this big stick walking around the room, is this going to be Stephen Jones's frugality is that a word frugal his his frugal nature frugality is this going to be stephen jones's frugality 
versus Dak Prescott say so. You see what I mean? Who wins at the end of the day? <laughs> like we're gonna, we we're got gonna, evidence of that. T- talk to me. Tony, this content King, baby, Tony to Romo me. was beloved in that organization. Beloved. Sure. sure. What, 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 what do we do then? Do we go out here and get these Bobby yeah. Wagners of the world? Yeah, that's that's fair, Will still. Yo, Will still, that's that's fair. <laughs> Gee, I, I <laughs> guarantee fair. you Tony didn't want nothing to do with T.O. Jerry said, <laughs> we getting T.O. You know what I mean? Mm. That's, fair. that's fair. That's fair. I like that. Um, but of course, this I mean, this is a new time, right? Tony Romo almost a decade ago, to be fair. That's how you know we getting old as Cowboy fans. One day when we 60, we're going to be like, hey, man, I was around when Dak Prescott was playing. It is what it is. But... Dalton Schultz is going through his little contract negotiate, his contract dispute right now. We know how we know how the Jones is in Steven in particular. We know how Steven act with money. And to be fair, there's a portion of Cowboy fans that I would say in this particular situation, we kind of side with, with Steven almost, right? Hey, man, we ain't trying to pay big money to Dalton Schultz. That's, that's a tight end right there. But if Dak says, yo, that's my guy, I feel comfortable with Dalton Schultz. That's my tight end. He's my dude. Actually, in this next clip, Dak actually says it. He actually all the time out. Dude, let me make this a little bigger. Dak actually came out and said, hey, man, that's 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 our guy. Hey, man, it is what it is. Boom, boom, boom. They said all this little nonsense they want. That's our guy. He said that's our why, but why as in tight end. Here's uh, Dak Prescott on Dalton Schultz and what he means to the offense. What important is he to your offense? Oh, he's yeah. crucial. He's a guy that's... Um, obviously, a guy that you draft that continues to grow each each year and has just showed his production and how much better he's gotten. And obviously, my trust in him has just grown and it's through the roof. So, I mean, the he's the guy. He's our why. He's the guy. He's our why. My trust in him is through the roof. Does that mean something in contract negotiations, Will Smith, at the end of the day? I, I'm not sure. You have to ask a, an agent. I don't know if an agent's going to be like, yo, your, your quarterback like me, so let me get this bread. You know what I mean? <laughs> this Stephen yeah. Jones we're talking yeah. about. Yeah, I'm not trying to get a media hard time, but that would have been a fantastic question to ask, right? Like, no, that would have been a fantastic. The question to to ask was was to bring up Cooper. That'd have been the question mm. to ask because Best no off, one's asking one, that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sure, sure, sure. But hey, Will, trust me, yo, Will. One day, <laughs> all right. This is Dak Prescott on uh, Jalen Tolbert, just giving us a small little update on Jalen Tolbert. Uh, smart guy, smart, uh, smart receivers picked up the playbook um, and wants to grow, wants to wants to get better. He's always trying to talk to me about film or what what I saw and um, or what he can learn on. Or um, he's trying to get advanced level of coaching, and we're we're not even through uh, step three yet. So he's uh, he's an exciting guy that he's a bright bright future. He back practicing this week. Say again, is he back practicing this week? Yes, yes, yes. Back moving, back doing everything. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Damn, Dak got the injury reports and all that, huh? He the one throwing. Dak who practicing and all that, huh? Wow. <laughs> I mean, you think you think Jalen Hurts get the injury reports over there? No, <laughs> you think he's in charge of who? I ain't going to shoot at the Eagles a little bit. But I, I did I did think that was interesting, though. And, you know, with the whole, you know, sign Schultz, not sign Schultz, you know, even as fans, we have to ask ourselves, right? Because, like I said, I'm not pro sign big, big tight end money, especially if I don't think that the tight end is that guy. But in the greater scheme of the offense, if the quarterback's comfortable with that dude, and even in your point, right, with the whole like Amari Cooper thing, like we, you know, I've seen Dak vouch for Dalton Schultz more than Amari Cooper a little bit. You know what I mean? Nobody's asked, but I was about to say that's what I'm saying. Ask him. They didn't ask. Sure. Him. I think I think it's worth looking at, man. I think yeah. it's worth looking at. But that's what we got from Dak Prescott. Mm-hmm.